My name is Natasha Mlinga and this is my story. In my fifth year of Electro and Electronics Engineering Studies at the Copper Board University, our lecturer came with a proposition that had me on the edge of my seat from excitement. CEC had asked for students to work with their engineers on a model mine shaft and conveyor system to be powered by solar for demonstration purposes. Which engineer student would pass up that? Four of us were chosen and got to work intent on putting to practice what we had learned and to learn a lot more in a real practical setting within a very tight shade. The model was being purpose built to be used as an exhibition at Caminex 2018. It was premier show combining commerce, agriculture, and mining. The team got to work on what became my first ever exceptional experience. The model mimicked what happens at an underground mine, complete with a cage for moving stuff into and out of the shaft. The whole system was connected to a solar power plant. Put up on site at the exhibition stand to demonstrate CC's capacity in solar power development and what solar could do. To say I was excited doesn't describe the feeling, especially that to top it all off, the Republican president came to the CC stand and saw the whole system work. When CC won five prizes at that show, pride swelled in my heart because I was a part of something that was original and a game changer and which received so much recognition. Most importantly, I appreciated how CC invests in talent development. Yet, my journey with CEC didn't end on that high. A few months before that experience, CEC had commissioned its one megawatt solar PV plant right next to CBU, and they said students would be allowed to use the plant for learning and research. I collected data for my fifth year project from the solar plant. Not so long after I had graduated, CEC invited applications to its graduate development program. I applied, got in, and was picked to be part of the solar development program. We are marked to work on the company's development of its two solar PV plants of combined 40 megawatt capacity in Ganaton, Kitwe, with its partner, Innovent, SAS of France. There began another exciting phase of learning and growth, spending five weeks in Namibia at Innovent solar PV and wind farms. I returned to CEC with an expanded outlook increased knowledge, new skills, and hunger to practice. When the graduate development program ended in June, I was taken as an assistant engineer, electrical, for business expansion projects. I appreciate what CC has been doing for academia and industry in our country, providing opportunities for young people to learn and work through internships, development programs, placement, and employment. Not too many companies offer such opportunities, I consider myself one of those lucky few to have benefited from such benevolent investment in young people and education, but I would like to see more students accessing the same opportunities I've had with CEC.